hello everyone you're welcome back to tv okuto channel thank you for liking for subscribing and for your comments so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to sew the tube top proper and i'm going to be using an inseam sewing where you won't see any seam of the sewing at all so the first video is all about drafting the pattern and it's very easy and simple in case you've not watched the very first one the link i'll be leaving the link in the description box please do watch for better understanding so please if you are watching my video for the very first time subscribe to the channel like and leave your thoughts in the comment section below without further ado let's get into the video what is like so on the pattern paper it is half of my front and half of my back so this excess is what i'm going to be deducting connect from the center point close my shoulder that completely have my to so what i'm going to do now is go ahead to cut i already went ahead to iron my interfacing estate to the material by doing this it's going to make my work very faster and easier just to cut at a goal most times i do iron my estate to my lining tool to make it thicker what i do mostly is to iron two layers of estate on the main fabric then one layer of estate to the lining this is going to give more stability to my fabric but because this is a tutorial video i just went ahead to iron one layer of estate to the fabric then what i'm going to do to make my work easier for cutting is to place the lining underneath the fabric for me to cut out everything at once this is a method i use and it works out perfectly for me it doesn't stress me much it's a straight and simple method and i will just go ahead to place my pattern on the fabric like so arrange them properly and i will also pin them down like the way i'm doing in this video once i'm done with that i'll go ahead to add the seam allowance i needed for the joining of this piece together at the inner parts of all the patterns because i did not add any seam allowance before cutting it out i only added seam allowances at the side upper part and the lower parts once i'm done with this i'll go ahead to cut out every piece to see what we have at the end this is what i have after cutting i have four pieces presently but in all i have seven pieces in all because i cut my center front on fold while the other side are in two pieces and because i want my lining to be shorter than the main fabric what i'm going to do is to deduct one centimeter from the normal hem line of my pattern i added three centimeters to the hem line of my pattern so what i'm going to do is to just deduct one centimeter from it to make my lining shorter this is what i'm going to do for the remaining fabric also for the bust area i had to cut this pattern piece around the bust area for me to cut out the soft wording because i'm going to be adding it only to the front so i went in to cut out like a bra cup shape and i also went ahead to iron it using my hemming gum to iron it down in order for it to stick to the material itself then the next thing i'll be doing is just to go ahead to pin i'm going to pin everything together at once this is going to make it easier for me to sew i'm not going to be pinning it one after the other i'm going to align everything at once and pin straight up i'm pinning my front together side front to the center front together first once i'm done pinning this i'll take hold of the back piece and i will also pin the side front and the side back together i'm pinning them together for me to sew them straight up the next side that i'm pinning now is the mid side back to the center side back where the zip is going to be and i have it all pinned together like so once i'm sewing i'll just go straight so up. this is what i'm going to do for the lining also this is going to make my sewing easier instead of looking for each piece and looking for which one is which one so i'll go ahead to my sewing machine to show us 
how to sew this this is my sewing guard which i'm going to be using for the sewing this really helps and it makes my work faster i added just 1.5 centimeters to each of the that side except for my side front and side back which i added two centimeters so i'm going to be sewing only 1.5 centimeters as but for the side front and the side back i'm going to be sewing in two centimeters and i'm also going to be using the same sewing process for the lining to make both the main part and the lining part equal so here it is i am done sewing and i've also gone in to do some ironing i notched and i also ironed and this is how the inner side is also looking in case you want to use bra cup for yours what you do is to place your bra cup like so and if you need to reduce it a little bit by giving it a dart in between your bra cup you can go ahead to do it this is one of the techniques i'm going to be showing you in my subsequent videos but i wouldn't be using a bra cup for this particular tube top so i also went in to iron where my zip is going to be sewn into once and for all and i went in to also iron my lining so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to sew in my zip first before sewing in my lining because it's an inseam sewing so i want to finish up with the outer part of the tube top before going in to sew in the inner part of the top so once i've sewn my zip i'll place my lining and my fabric facing each other like so sew the upper part sew the zip side and also sew the m line then i will leave a space for me to turn it over and once i'm done with this that means i'm done sewing the first thing i'm going to show us is how to sew the zip so i have a foot that i use for the zip i don't use my normal foot for sewing zip i have this left and right foot so i mostly use the right hand side foot which i'm going to be using to sew my zip it makes sewing of the zip easier for me and much more neater i will just go ahead to measure the seam i have at the hem before putting my zip and this is how i'm going to be placing the zip chalk down what i'm following is where i ironed earlier there is a folded shape at the angle this is what i'm following then use my pin to hold it down carefully and i'll go in to sew in my zip both sides of my zip for the second side of the zip what i'm going to do is to align it to the other side to give me an even line at the bottom and also an even line at the upper part before going in to sew the second side of the zip this is what i have after sewing in the zip what i'm going to do now is to sew in my lining this is going to close up the inner side where the same allowances are sewn together so i'm going to place the lining equally with the tube material itself and i'm going to pin it what i'm going to sew right now is at the upper side of the tube top at the upper side that is where i am pinning and i'm going to go ahead to sew it with my sewing machine Once I'm done, I'll go ahead to notch for it to slip very well after ironing. I went ahead to change the foot of my sewing machine to sew the M line of the tube top together like so. Once I got to this very place, I top stitched then came out by some inches to, to give me an opening for my turning i went in again to change my foot to join the lining to the fabric at the zip side i'm joining the lining by sewing exactly on the zip line so i am done sewing everything together complete and fully sewn i went in to notch 
the zip side the lower side the upper part the necessary part cut off the edges not to give me a bulky edge and after notching what i did was to turn my fabric over to the right side through the opening i left at the m line of the top so this is what i have after turning the top over this is what it's looking like what i'm going to do is to take it to my ironing board or ironing table to iron everything for it to lay smoothly and all that and i'll be using hemming gum to hem that very angle for it to go here is what i have after ironing you can see how the inner side is looking very smooth and neat even the edges i love the fact that the edges also sit well and the top is looking pink 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 i'm going to zip in to let us see how it is when it is zipped up and this is what is looking like you can see the bust area is popped up even without wearing it yet and this is the back view of the dress i'm going to put it on to let or see how it is this is me after putting on the outfit in the very first video in the very first video i'm putting on a bra so you can see how my bust is popped up or should i use the word accentuated at that very area my bust is popped up because the tube top is very firm and again i am presently putting on a bra to make it accentuate or protrude in such way i love the fact that it came out so perfect and beautiful neat in and out so you can go ahead to try this out and give me a feedback of what you think about this this is the back view of the outfit you can see the way it sat snugly at the back of my bodies in the second video i'm not putting on a bra top i'm just putting on only the tube and my tan top and you can still see that it sits pretty well on my body without it gaping or trying to fall off so i showed these two videos because you can either choose to rock it with your bra up which is going to push up more of your bust or just go ahead to put on the tube top only it's going to give a little bit of difference whether you rock it with your bra or you rock it without your bra in the last video i just went ahead to put it on my body form i was the same size with the body form when i initially bought it but i'm now a little bigger than the body form this is how it's also sitting pretty well on the body form so you can choose to try this out let me know your thoughts in the comment section and this is going to be the foundation of my corset tutorial please leave your thoughts in the comment section like comment and please if you are watching my video for the very first time please subscribe join the family let the family increase let me eat that, that 1k subscriber target thank you so much till next time bye bye